So the second very important thing is to find out what's being exported. Here, all of this stuff, there's too much stuff in here. Package geometry, manufacturing, auto silk top, all of this stuff, this is wrong. So we need to cut this. And cut, see all this, this is too much etch bottom, etch top. So let me show you what's happening. So if we right click and display for artwork check. This is what's showing up. So this is all being defined as solder mask or, or relief or whatever. So we don't want that. And if we display only the bottom copper for artwork check, this is the bottom copper. That looks good. That makes sense. So it's really convenient. You can display for artwork check directly from the software tool. And then you'll see. I should have added this to the tutorial. Anyway, so how do we fix this? Let's right click cut. Go to change our colors. With the colors available, turn everything off. Turn solder mask top on. Okay, now what you do with the solder mask top on, you want to right click, add. This is what we have to be looking at first before we add anything. Mask top. Solder mask top, right? I trust that it. Well, let's see. Display for our work check the top copper. If we just displayed for our work check the solder mask top, that's how it's supposed to look. Boom. Finished. For the solder mask bottom, <coughs> excuse me. For the solder mask bottom, turn everything off. Turn on only your solder mask bottom. This should show only the through hole components as it does. So now with this view available, right click, add. See, this is going to add what we're looking at. Only the layers we're looking at. So you have to be looking at the right thing. Solder mask bottom. Click OK. See, there are only these three things in here. I would even take out the DRC error, actually. We only need pin and via solder mask bottom and top. Now, actually, you want to include one more thing. So click on the pink thing and then right click add package geometry solder mask top. Sometimes you'll have something in the package geometry of the device that allows uh, where you need to get that solder mask, that solder exposed. So solder mask top, right? Click OK. Great. Even if it doesn't show anything, it's a just in case type of thing. Again, let's go to our other. If there are any packages on the board that need to have solder mask exposed, we right click on the pink thing. This is the bottom now. And then go to package geometry, solder mask bottom. Where's the solder mask bottom? Here we go. Click OK. Boom. There you go. Fantastic. Now, when you right click display for our check, see? Very good. For your undefined line width, you know, you want to make sure you're at least between five to ten thousandths of an inch. I'll go with eight. Huh. Who cares, right? Five is fine too. I mean it's 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 whatever. Okay, fine, let's do five. Great. You update your dynamic shapes and whatnot. Update all. Update to smooth, click OK. Make sure your apertures are good. Go to edit, auto without rotation, you know, just in case. Should be zero, right? Did I change it? Ah, oh, OK, OK, no, no, that makes sense. And then you select all and you create your artwork. Sure. You may get some warnings and whatnot, but that's how you do it. Make sure you're in the Gerber latest format, blah, 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 and you're done. Turn global visibility to on for everything, and you're good to go.